Sudan, known as the bridge between Africa and the Arab world, and more importantly as the food basket of the Arab world, is a country most strategically placed on the African continent. As the meeting place of the many faces of the Nile River, and rich in life-giving rainfall, agriculture in this cultural diverse land is a thriving industry teeming with business possibilities. One company taking full advantage of the richness of the natural resources of the land is Majub Sons Group. Founded in 1955 by Mihani Majub, with a focus on cash crops such as cotton, sesame and sorghum, this company has grown over the years, creating its own opportunities and forging its way into a dominant leader in the East African region. The group is uh, actually uh, it started with farming and then uh, went uh, through expansion into all the sectors are related uh, to the farming and uh, uh, lately we started to uh, see uh, the added value chain is being uh, part of the, the group and the services. Well, uh, I believe uh, we have an integrated uh, group uh, that starting from production up to the uh, export and processing and uh, doing this uh, through 20 companies. Uh, I believe uh, that uh, one of the items uh, differentiate uh, Mahjoub Group from other companies. Uh, plus uh, that we are investing into the most difficult sector uh, which is the rain fed sector and we uh, not only investing uh, but we have improved the productivity into that uh, sector. So our specialization in Rainfed has given us, of course, the experience, like I said. Secondly, uh, we've, we had to then focus on cash crops because we operate on such large farm or large commercial farms. Diversification geographically as well is because we operate in Rainfed farming. Um, and also, so we are susceptible to climate change and climate uh, impacts. So if you know one area has a good season, uh, another area might not have such a great season. So we need to be sure that we are geographically spread to, to counteract that, that risk. Uh, the third pillar is adding value and export orientation. So one of our very original um, core strategies is to add value to our crops, which we've done, for, for instance, on our sesame platforms, we've done it on our cotton, uh, and we continue to do so. So really that transforms us from just producers to agribusiness industrialization and that's important so we can increase our revenue and profitability from the yields that, that, we, um, that we produce. Our services division was actually set up and established to support our agricultural um, division in itself. But I think one of the most important things that has helped us reach where we are today and as a major agribusiness company in Africa is our persistence and consistency in pushing the agricultural, uh, agricultural activity in the group despite all the obstacles that we face and all the hurdles in our way. Building such a large business has come with its own challenges, especially considering the Sudanese business environment, especially when it comes to agriculture. The tenacity of Majub's Sons Group, however, has ensured that more often than not, challenges are turned into opportunities that the group as a whole can capitalize on to generate value. The group, for instance, is investing in establishing a technology and research training institute in Sudan to focus on optimizing rain-fed agriculture. I, I believe the, the sector is being uh, passed through different uh, times uh, in the history of uh, Sudan. Uh, but uh, uh, the period uh, 1981 uh, up to 19. Uh, uh, 98, uh, the sector was uh, quietly or uh, neglected uh, in the general policy of uh, Sudan, as well as the uh, policies liberalized, and uh, thus affect the production. As the liberalization was uh, allowing all the inputs uh, to come at a free price, uh, same time uh, the exports, which is the production was not enjoying the same uh, uh, free pricing. Uh, this uh, institute will have two sectors. The first sector 
is a training institute uh, for all the technology now is being used in the agricultural sectors and being produced by the, by the world. And uh, the second one is the research center. And this will be dedicated for the uh, rainfed uh, sector, uh, which we believe a sector that uh, uh, over 90% uh, of the land is uh, distributed among the, uh, the rainfed sector. So it needs uh, to uh, supply uh, skills and uh, technicians for all the machineries is used in this sector. This is from one side. Second is to do a research, a very specific covering all the crops, uh, the soil, all the agricultural practice uh, that is used in, in this sector. Uh, and uh, both are not available. Majub Suns Group has diversified operations that cut across primary agricultural production, transportation, logistics and trading, and they continue to grow at an impressive rate each year. The drive to integrate the business is set to see the company set up a textile processing plant, a move that will create employment and further diversify the operations of the group. Additionally, management has implemented a transformation program that is expected to see the business remain sustainable and relevant in the next decades. Uh, yes, uh, this uh, sector uh, it is an important because it is related to the cotton uh, business and we manage to uh, do a good uh, progress in cotton production. We have uh, boosted the, the productivity into the international uh, level. Uh, therefore, uh, going into that sector, uh, it will be uh, quite integrated with the efforts that are done uh, from the group. Uh, we are looking forward uh, to install uh, complexes uh, of uh, textile, including the spinning yarn and then uh, the weaving fabrics and then uh, the garments uh, which is the end of the chain. So when we first started in the especially in the finance department um, so we found that there was a gap and there was a need for this transformation project to kick off basically. Another project under the group's transformation is our environmental and social management system program um, drafting and implementing our environmental policy, ensuring a, an impact assessment is done for all our new projects to ensure minimal negative environmental impact. And if there is environmental impact, that it's offset in a certain way so that we can balance out our environmental impact overall. So our main aim here at MSG is to reduce our carbon emissions and adopt clean energy solutions. For example, um, MSG is planning to go completely solar by 2030, hopefully. With a clear line of sight and the group already being managed partly by third generation members of the Majub family, Majub Sons Group is on course to becoming one of the few diversified and multi-generational family businesses in Africa with a touch of efficiency and professional excellence.